Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to increase your iCloud storage from five gigabytes to 50 gigabytes so you can have much more space for your photos, videos, and device backup. So if you go to your settings, and if you tap on your uh, account card right here, and if you tap on iCloud, you'll see that in my case, uh, I have five gigabytes of storage, and I'm using 4.1 gigabytes already, meaning that a lot of my photos, a lot of my backup is taking a lot of space on my device. As a matter of fact, if you look at this bar here, it says uh, backup is the purple one, it's taking a lot of my space, and also photos is taking a lot of my space, and then I've got docs and mail that is also taking a lot of my space. It's almost full, so I need to actually increase this storage from five to 50. Now what you wanna do to do that is you wanna tap on manage storage, which brings you to this screen. And this screen gives you even more detail on how your um, current device is using your iCloud storage. So backup is using 2.4 gigabytes, photos is using 1.3 gigabytes, and so on and so forth. You can see it right here. And then all you wanna do to increase your storage plan is tap on this guy, change storage plan. Now, as you know, everybody that buys an iPhone gets five gigabytes of free storage for iCloud. But if you want to increase it to 50 gigabytes, all you have to do is pay $1 per month. Now, I'm the kind of guy that buys coffee every single day and a cup of coffee is two bucks. So this is nothing for me. So if I pay $1 a month, that's 50 gigabytes of iCloud storage. That's going to come in very, very handy. And of course, this can be used for all your uh, Apple devices. If you have multiple iPhones, if you have iPads, all of them are going to get the 50 gigabyte storage. So it's not exclusive to the iPhone. If you buy this, it's going to uh, be you, it's going to be available to be used by any device that you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually upgrade mine right now because I need more. So that's all you have to do. You tap this guy and then you click buy right over here. And then it's going to ask you how you like to buy. Let me just pop in my password. I'm going to be right back with you guys. Now, as you can see, the purchase was complete. I now have 50 gigabytes of total iCloud storage. And then again, it's a dollar a month. That means it's 12 bucks a year, which is absolutely nothing compared to some of the other plans out there. Now, this is completely integrated with your iPhone. So it's very convenient to have. All right. So uh, let me go out. I'm going to show you one more thing really quickly. Now, if I go back to my iCloud account here, you can see that that bar that I showed you earlier has shrunk considerably, and now it's saying 4.1 gigabytes of 50 gigabyte used. That means I have 45 gigabytes of storage. And really quickly from here, you can actually fine tune which application you want iCloud to actually use. So if you don't want a keychain to use iCloud, you can disable it. If you don't want the mail to use iCloud, you can disable it. That's gonna free up some space for you too on the iCloud, but it's not a big deal. They don't take too much space. Uh, normally, photos will take the most amount of sp uh, space as well as the device backup, as you can see from that purple uh, chart. So if you decide to upgrade, make sure you go to the photos right here, and then make sure that the iCloud photo library is enabled. Basically, what this is gonna allow you to do is any photo you take, any video you take is gonna get automatically uploaded to your iCloud account so you never ever lose it. And also it makes them available on any other Apple device uh, seamlessly, including a Windows PC. You can download an iCloud application for your Windows uh, that will show you all your photos and other documents right on Windows if you so desire. But mostly it is designed to work with your Apple devices. So let me enable that right now. It's saying turning on. And right now what is happening is it's actually uh, uploading every single photo I ever took on my iPhone to my iCloud backup. And of course, after you enable iCloud photo library, these two options become available. Now, if you wanna save some storage on your iPhone, you want to pick the first option. If you don't care about the storage space on your iPhone right now, uh, you can actually choose this option. This option downloads and keeps the original photo files right on your iPhone but this one is gonna optimize the iPhone storage. So what's gonna happen is, it's still gonna keep the photos on your device, but it's gonna lower the quality of the photos that are on your iPhone, which is gonna take less space, but it is going to upload the full quality images to your iCloud account. So this actually saves space on your iPhone, but this one here 
uh, does not uh, save space on your iPhone. And that really depends on you. If you have an iPhone that has 256 gigabytes of storage, you should be fine. But if you have a 64 gigabyte or a 32 gigabyte iPhone, that could be uh, a good option to have the top one. But the primary purpose of this video was to show you how to increase uh, your actual iCloud storage capacity uh, from the free five gigabytes to $1 per month, 50 gigabyte option, which is what I have right now. All right. And that brings us to the end of the video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, just drop them down below. And of course, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech and give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online. Guys, have a fantastic day.